Welcome, I'm Miss Katie, and today we're going to learn how God uses me. So, in Philippians 4, 13, the scripture says, I can do all things. And so I'm going to ask Jason if he will come and help me teach this lesson. Jason. Hey, hey. Miss Katie. Hey, how are you? I'm very good. What are you doing? I'm using my binoculars. Ooh. Wow! I bet I look really big in front of them this close. Almost like I could touch you. Yeah, oh, really? No, not quite. Oh. Not quite. Oh. So, wow. Well, you know, those binoculars, Jason, might help. Boys and girls, they will help a little bit. They'll help you to see mm -hmm. only just a short distance, really. It makes far things look like they're close. But you know what? You still need help to see everything. And guess who sees everything? Who? God! That's right. He sees everything. You know, this reminds me of a story from the Bible oh. about a man named Samuel. Oh. God saw way more than Samuel did. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning. Samuel came to Jesse's house. Yeah. And Jesse had eight sons. I remember this story. And one of those sons was going to be king. Oh. So each one of them stood in front of Samuel. Yeah. Nice and tall. Yes. Looking very strong and handsome. Yeah. But none of them were king. Wait a minute. He went through all of the seven sons, right? Mm -hmm. Huh. And none of them were king. But Jesse remembered his youngest son, David, who is out in the field. Watching the sheep. Watching the sheep. Yeah. So Jesse called David in to come stand before Samuel. And as soon as Samuel saw David, he knew that he was going to be king. Wow. So that means that Samuel, he heard from God. He did. Yeah. And he knew that David was out in the field, but Samuel didn't know that. But God still saw David and chose him as king. Even though he was out of sight, not even in the same room with his brothers, God remembered where he was. Absolutely. God you know, boys him. and girls, God knows exactly where you are. Mm -hmm. And that even though you are little, God knows where you are. And you're important to him. And he wants to use you too. So, so Samuel, he was able to pick the one that was to be king. Mm -hmm. And did he put, he anointed him, didn't he? He did. <gasps> right in front of everybody. Every brother thought, I'm the one. No, I'm the one. But none of them. It was only one person and God knew where he was. Mm -hmm. And that was David. And as you read your Bible, we learn that David was used of God to do a lot a of lot. great things. So I think we ought to make a statement. I want to just declare that God can use me. Can I agree. Can he use you? He can use me. He can use me. How about you? Can he use you? I think so. Let's tell the Lord that we want to be used mightily of him. Okay. But first... I want to remind ourselves of the scripture that we use today. Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So before we make our statement, I want to emphasize or bring to your attention that word Christ. It's the Lord Jesus Christ who strengthens us, mm -hmm. and God helps us to be used of Him. Amen? Amen. He wants to use us even though we are little. No matter what age you are, God can use you now. Let's say that. God, God can use me. Can use me. Now. Now. Amen. Amen. So that is your lesson today, and we want to say bye, but we want to remind you, God can use you. you.